lovelies and welcome back. So today I am here with a lovely, cosy, festive clean. I am finally getting out all of my like winter cleaning products that I've been collecting or that I've had from last year that I love and I'm really excited to just give the place a good two hour clean, hour to two hour clean using all my favourite winter scents. I love the scents of winter cleaning products and I've gone a bit OTT this year and got some like winter minkies and like really gone for it just so that when I clean I just feel so nice, cosy, wintry. The house after a clean like this just smells incredible. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using today um, because I'm excited and some of it's new, some of it's not. You'll see when I show you. Um, so for example, I got some Minky Star, Star Scourers, which are super cute, which I'm gonna get out today. And I've got my Zaflora in Winter Spice. So I've got the disinfectant spray and the concentrate. Now these aren't new. I've had them for a couple of weeks, as you can see, probably like a month now. And I just love this scent. This was my favorite scent last year. As soon as it came back out, because it says seasonal scent, it's not here all year, unfortunately, I grabbed at the chance to get some. Don't use the concentrate as much as you can see, but this is the Flora Disinfect Disinfectant Spray I literally use 100 times a day. So I'm going to use those. I also picked up a Sith Cream, which you know I absolutely love using on my sink and the hob, and I picked it up in Winter Indulgence, and I did give it a sniff in the shop and it smells lovely. It smells very fresh. Um, so I'm gonna use that on my sink instead of the usual one. Um, as you know, I've been using the Festive Bin Buddy in orange and cinnamon, which makes our bin smell incredible. So that one's not new. And then I picked up a Scrub Mummy Christmas tree a couple of weeks ago, which I'm excited to get out today. And also I picked up a gingerbread cleaning minky which I'm really excited to use because that is super festive oh and let me not forget I'm gonna get out my beautiful um Christmas tree hand towels which are new I got them from TK Maxx a couple of weeks ago um and I'm gonna get them out now they are so soft and so beautiful they're like a little sandy colour with these lovely white fluffy Christmas trees on so I'm excited to use those. I got two, one for the family bathroom and one for the downstairs toilet. I picked up a new mug this morning because as you know I cannot help myself. I said to myself yesterday no more Christmas decorations, I don't need any more and then I, after the gym I thought oh Dunelm's down the road, let me just have a mooch picked up a Christmas mug. I literally cannot help myself, but it was three pounds and it is gorgeous. So I just could not resist. Let me show you. And here she is. Oh, the shape, the color, the trees on it. It is gorgeous. And this, as I said, was three pounds from Dunelm. It is huge. And I like the way it comes out a bit. It is a gorgeous mug and I could not leave it in the shop. So I would say, three pounds well spent beautiful it matches like our candle that i'll show you that we've got um a new one from tk maxx that we've put in the living room it is gorgeous so yeah gonna make myself a coffee in my new mug and get cleaning with all of these beautiful festive products i literally i am so easy to please honestly So I'm gonna get out my Christmas tree scrub mummy finally. I have had this a while and I have been waiting for November to start to take it, to take it out. Um, gorgeous. I like it because it's got the soft side as well. I don't always want the hard side. And also the Sith Winter Indulgence.
That's supposed to be a snowflake, by the way. I think I'll stick to hearts. Look at that shine, and oh my god, I can't tell you how amazing it smells in here. That's the floral concentrate. Oh, it smells incredible. Every single time I set out to clean, I always get interrupted by emails from the children's school. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but honestly, keeping up with emails from their school is like a full-time job. Like, it requires a lot of time and effort. And this one required action, um, so I just get thrown off. Anyways, the sink smells incredible, the hob's clean, and honestly, if you're going to buy any winter scent, like, of any cleaning products this winter, my number one re recommendation would be the Zaflora Concentrate in Winter Spice, just because you use a tiny bit and it just makes the whole house smell of it. And that is no exaggeration. I just went into the living room and my hallway even, I could smell it from the living room. Winter Spice Concentrate, I have, you can get it in like most shops, like B&M, um, you can get it in home bargains, lots of shops, but if you don't have any of those near you, I have it on my Amazon storefront. So if you go to the link in my description box, get yourself this, honestly. It smells incredible. Right, let's keep going.
I kind of wish I had a festive toilet cleaner, but we'll have to stick with the Harpic Power Plus. say I have thoroughly enjoyed cleaning with um, festive scents probably a little more than I should have done like that was very satisfying for me and the house just smells like Christmas like my after we decorated yesterday and like the boys and I lit my favorite gingerbread not gingerbread carrot cake and um, candle when my husband got home from work he came in he was like oh my god this house is so cozy it feels so nice in here and he's not even like a major fan of Christmas or anything but just all the decorations up and all the smells and everything he was like this is so cozy so even my husband who isn't like the biggest Christmas fan is really appreciating um, Christmas decor and how cozy it makes you feel um, so yeah, I am going to clean with Christmas products until probably like February because I am really enjoying it. I need to stock up on my Zaflora. Actually, when I go to B&M now, I need to get some more winter spice because if it's obviously season seasonal. <laughs> Sorry, that moment off. It's obviously seasonal. So when they stop doing it, I'm going to be really upset. And like I said, I probably will use it throughout the year. Um, but yeah, this is like the 6th of November and we're just well into the Christmas spirit. I'll show you the boys bedding in a second actually because that is Christmas as well. Um, or festive should I say. Um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoy Christmas as much as I do or whether you just want me just to do the normal stuff. Um, and also if you do, if you are feeling super festive, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. Um, we are getting a new console table for our hallway and I'm already getting really excited picking out the pieces to style that. So let me know if you would like to see me like make the new console table and show you how I'm going to style it. It's going to make a big difference to our hallway which is very plain but we like having a large hallway just because we like for example when I pick up the boys from school there's so many bags that just come in that we dump there initially and the boys sometimes kick the ball to each other if it's pouring down with rain. But it's too plain for me and I'm really excited. I've ordered the console table, it's gonna come in a couple of days and I saw in Dunelm a few little bits that I think I might style it with. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that and anything else you'd like to see. And I'm just gonna go now, get my candy canes and then go with the boys to pick up a Christmas tree and just live every evening like it's Christmas. We are so festive in this house this is the lovely Christmas bedding. Now I'm going to take you all back in time to yesterday when I had all of our new Christmas bits laid out before the boys started decorating. I'm going to show you all our new bits and then I'm going to show you how we decorated and what it looks like now. I'm kind of just sat here with a sofa full of new festive bits for this year. Like when I was like shopping and just buying like something here and there, I did not think it was accumulating into a whole sofa of new bits when we have a garage full of bits from last year and the year before and the year before that. But anyways, it just shows you it does add up. Um, so I'm sat here with like some new Christmas bits for the home, new Christmas bits for the tree, some little festive bits for the boys and activities for the boys. And also um, 
some cleaning festive bits. So I just thought I would show you before we decorate because Leo, like myself, is super excited to decorate and actually wants to decorate tonight. <laughs> so I thought, let me show you all the new bits I've picked up because I absolutely love looking, what, looking at what everyone else has picked up. So I thought I would show you what I picked up. You may have seen like a few bits here and there and like a little haul I've done, um, but lots of it I haven't shown yet. So I will show you what I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Um, and these bits are from like the range, B&M, Home Bargains, Garden Centres, um, Audi, Tesco's. Um, yeah, so I will show you. I also went with the boys and got all of our usual Christmas stuff out of the garage, which is over here. Um, because I bought this faux tree from Ikea. If you haven't seen my last video, I'm very impressed with it. And I thought, as the boys are super excited to decorate, we'll decorate that faux small one tonight because I'm not gonna go and pick up a Christmas, real Christmas tree tonight and decorate that. Um, but I just wanted to show you all the bits I picked up before the boys go nuts and like start putting it all over the house. So let me show you. So as I said, this is new stuff only. Um, our stuff from last year is over here sorry about the halloween stuff i've just got some autumn bits that i'm going to put back in this box when i take the christmas stuff out but this is our tree decorations and our christmas wreath for the door and then these are all the new bits i've picked up so i've put them in some kind of arrangement for you i'm starting off with cleaning products so we've got star scour sponges we've got this really cute gingerbread cleaning pad that i got from the range which was only 90p got a scrub mummy christmas tree we've got winter indulgence sif we've got these molds that are actually for chocolate but we might use for ice cubes a ho 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 mug i must say i haven't gone ot on christmas mugs this year which is a surprise mainly because we don't have any space in our mug cupboard we got a little santa soap and then from B&M I picked up this single duvet set which is so cute. It's got like a car pickup truck with little Christmas trees and it's reversible. On the other side it's white with mini Christmas trees which is so sweet. And this was only £7 and I got one for each of the boys for their Christmas bedding. I picked up this lovely Christmas tree tea light. Is it a tea light or is it a wax melt? Might be a wax melt. Anyways, um, from... Uh, from Home Bargains, picked up my favourite, as you know, candle from TK Maxx Home Sense. We've got this lovely Acon from B&M, this cosy cushion from B&M, these lovely winter hand towels, which are so soft and have Christmas trees on. This was from um, TK Maxx. Picked up these really cute Christmas socks, two pairs from Aldi. And then we picked up this Nutcracker from um, home bargains this lovely sign from um the range <laughs> leo chose this um runner which has three gnomes on festive gnomes for 12 pounds from b&m he loved it i'm not as keen as him but we'll roll with it um we've got these lovely wax melts that smell incredible from tesco's and then for the boys they've not seen any of this i picked up two elves because we love doing the naughty elf i picked up this um message board which will obviously be from the elves and then as their little festive bags we make up we got them some festive cozy socks we got them some magic snow each some little Reese's pieces, two little chocolates, and then a decorate your own tablecloth, which they'll love because they absolutely love colouring in. Um, so we'll put a little bag together of those for them. And then also from B&M, moving on to Christmas decorations now, we got these candy canes for the boys' little tree. And then I picked up from Home Bargains today um, these festive Christmas tree bunting, which is so cute, like this 3D bunting. I got one of each colour, and I think it was like 90p. Leo picked up this tree topper from a garden centre. And then I picked up three sets of baubles in these colours um, from Savers. I think they were like £2. We picked up these baubles from B&M. And then again, picked up these ones from a garden centre. You see, I've got my little faux trees from Ikea. And I loved this cute little ho-ho-ho sleigh decoration from the range which was about a pound um and then we got two of these little penguins as well festive penguins for i think they were one pound something each so oh, i'm out of breath 
So these were the new decorations we got. These were some bits, fun bits for the boys, then some home bits, and then some cleaning bits. And then obviously I got my faux Christmas tree. So I think today the boys can choose from our old decorations and these decorations to decorate this faux tree. And then we might do, um, put some festive home bits out as well, swap over to some festive cleaning bits. And I'm gonna hide these bits away for the boys because the boys do actually believe that it is the elves themselves doing this <laughs> they are of that lovely age where they still believe it and then i'll make them up a little bag with that as well so yeah very christmassy and we are soon to be very festive in here i just wanted to quickly show you this because i thought it was a cute idea but basically at halloween the boys had these full of sweets so i picked out our christmas little jar which is obviously like a little upside down elf and i just Oh, I've taken these away from the boys because they're too hard. These giant strawberries, so I'll rehome those. But all of the other sweets I've either just emptied into here or put into here. The little Haribo packets I've emptied into here because they usually just pick a couple of sweets. And then I've put like all of the other bits in here as well, like the Malwams, the little chocolates, and it's just made up a really cute jar full of sweets that when they're allowed a treat, they can just pick one instead of having these two annoying buckets just sitting on the kitchen counter. I thought, why not have something a bit more festive? Let's hope, how cute is that? Let's hope they don't bite my head off <laughs> when they see I've combined their sweets and put them in here. I'm hoping they'll be pleased. So as you can see, my two little helpers did come home from school yesterday and decorate the windowsill and other areas of the home that we like to decorate for Christmas. They were so excited. It's obviously now the next day. I also decorated our kitchen windowsill um, and we've put up our lovely stars on the back door windows and we've just made it a little bit more festive basically. And we've put our faux Christmas tree from Ikea on the landing and the boys actually decorated this one themselves. So this is that Ikea tree I was raving about. And if you can see what I mean, it's like quite bare, which makes me feel like it's quite real. Obviously the bottom doesn't look real. So I think I'm gonna put like some presents down here or like get a dress, what's it called, a skirt for the bottom. But if you just look from here, this actually looks like what our real Christmas trees look like. And I hate it when they're so full and really artificial looking, but I love this one. Anyways, we used, these candy canes, which are new, on this tree. But I really want them on our main tree as well. So I'm gonna pop to B&M now, before I pick the kids up. I've got about an hour, or an hour and a half, which should be enough time, um, to drive to a B&M and pick up some more candy canes. I think we got six for three pounds. Was it four or six? Oh no, it looks like it was four. No, six, yeah. Six for one, two, three, four, five, and I'm guessing there's another one somewhere. Um, yeah, for three pounds. So I thought that was really good. And they do look really nice. So I'm going to go and pick some of those up now. I hope you've all had a lovely start to your week and have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you at the end of the week. Bye.